Welcome to Tech Brother with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to create tab delimited file with date and time in SSIS package from SQL Server table. So first of all, as we said that SQL Server table or SQL Server query, we have to have some data in SQL Server. So I'm going to use DBO customer table that is in our test DB database and I have prepared a query that I'm going to use. So I'm selecting these many columns from this table and that's what we will use. So open your open your SSDT or builds whatever you have uh, according to the version of uh, SSIS install on your system. So I have SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. So open a new project. If you, it's already existing, open one. If uh, you don't have it, create a new one by using new tab. And I have one, so I'm going to use that one. So click here, open it. Now the next step will be creating a new SSIS package. Okay, so right click on the SSIS packages uh, tabs and the uh, new SSIS package. All right, so rename this one to the tab delimited file. All right, the next step is going to uh, as we are reading the data from the source and uh, writing into destination, we need the data flow task. Okay, bring the data flow task and uh, then bring the OLEDB source to read the data from the SQL Server. All right, so we have OLEDB source here. Double click, create a connection manager. Okay, I, uh, I have the connection already existing. I'm going to delete it and create a new to show you how to do it. So click here. If you have server name, you can write it here. Otherwise, click here. It is going to take a moment. Bring the server names, and then you can select the required one. And you tell from which database you are reading the data. So everything look, looks good. We are reading from this server, this database, and test connection uh, went successful. Hit OK. OK. So now you can select uh, different uh, options here, how you're going to uh, choose the data from these uh, da database or tables or views so w you can have a table or view then it will give you a drop down but i'm i'm, I'm going, going to use my sql command as uh, the table definition or view definition can change you can add or remove columns and uh, the package can fail if you know those columns uh, even you haven't used them or uh, if you have used them you know in package and uh, that can create a complication so you want to paste the query and in this case if let's say a new column is added in your table that's uh, this query is not going to touch that and if you have some other columns they are there but you never use this, this query so this is a you know not uh, going to affect anything so use your query i mean write it if you need to rename the columns you can do it here you can rewrite all those case case statements here so uh, it helps you know um, and uh, um, I, I i recommend writing uh, queries uh, you know uh, just instead of uh, getting um, you know data from the SQL table or view and uh, sometimes you don't need every table you know, every uh, every column from that table okay so click uh, on columns see the columns are coming correct so now the next step is uh, you go on your uh, other destinations here in this tab we have a flat file destination that's where we are going to use all right so now create a new connection okay it is uh, going to be delimited fine the next step is uh, browse and uh, go to the folder where you want to create uh, the files. I want to give the name say tab customer. That's what's going to be the name of the file and it is going to be in the output folder. The file extension will be .txt. That's fine with me. Okay, so format is going to be delimited text qualified. We don't have single quotes or double quotes anything we want to uh, put across, across the values uh, in uh, our file and uh, header row delimiter uh, that's going to be character and line feed and uh, then the uh, same thing uh, we we don't uh, want to skip any rows and uh, our columns are going to name um, the first row is going to be the column names in our destination file so select that one now the next is the uh, columns so we see the columns and everything so what we want to do here instead of uh, column delimiter is a comma right now we want to select this one as a tab okay that's what our requirement is all right so next go to advanced if you need to rename some uh, column names or whatnot so you can always rename it okay i'm going to just rename one that's fine let's preview the data 
okay looks good overwrite data in the file as we will be creating the file with the date and time um, this option is really going not going to help us but if you are creating the file with the same name over and over and you want to overwrite the data this you know leave this one as check uh, checked here in our case we leave this one as it is or we don't because we are going to create the file with the date and time and and every time it's going to be a new name so it doesn't really matter okay so go to mapping we have these different columns the name on the source call um, source side if the column has the same name it is going to map on the destination with the same name but as we have changed for f name from the first name that was ignored so we are going to map that manually all right okay so now if we run this package a file will be generated okay let's go back in the folder and see if the file is generated so desktop output folders and the, the file is generated and it uh, it is generated or created with the tabs all right so what we want to do next uh, we want to create uh, the same file with the timestamp every time the file uh, is generated we want to add the date and time to it so what we can do we can go back here in the in the previous steps uh, or demos what I have done uh, in other videos uh, I was going to the file uh, um, connection manager properties and then uh, write in the expressions on the top of that so I was using get date uh, replace function you know and the substring functions uh, to uh, extract the date and time part from uh, there but now what I want to do I want to use a variable here and uh, evaluate it to the date time and use that variable so I just uh, give you a different uh, uh, way to do the things so the very first variable I will create I will create a folder path okay this is going to be string all right get the value of that folder where the files will be generated okay and I can add a backslash here so I don't have to add in the expressions all right good so next step is why we are creating uh, the folder path because on different systems like production UAT and QA these folders uh, structure can be different and you can uh, use these variables to pass the values via uh, by using S SSIS configuration and your package will be writing to those folders uh, instead of hard coding inside you know so the next step is uh, you create uh, let's say we are going to create date time variable here this is going to be string as well so go to expressions and then uh, we are going to use uh, the get date if I use just get date here what it is going to do it is going to throw an error it is going to say get date is a function that's returning the value that cannot be converted to the string okay so we need to convert this one to string dt w s t r is you know um, for use for a uh, uh, values string values and uh, then uh, this is a type cast you can do it and uh, I'm I just want to look for 50 characters you know that's what the length of my uh, string is so this is converted with the you know with the date and time and uh, milliseconds whatnot so but I want to only this part I want only date and uh, time I don't want I don't want the millisecond way I just want till to the second so I can go back and use a substring and uh, I know that it is one comma it's starting from first character and go to 19 that's where it is going to extract the date and time to the second level okay so that's one is extracted so now if uh, now it's my choice so how I want to format this one I want to replace every you know everything with the underscore or I just want to uh, have a date and time to get date together and time separate you know so um, let's change this one uh, what we want to do we want to replace uh, um, high these uh, hyphens with underscore and uh, these um, colons uh, with the underscore as well so let's do it so replace function can be used for that one all right so I want to do hyphens with underscore all right so made some mistake here uh, let me see what it is uh, we should have a comma here and double quotes here all right okay so this is replaced correctly and now let's replace uh, the colons 
so you have double quotes then put the colons then double quotes then put comma then put double quotes and then put whatever underscore or uh, uh, if you want to replace with the space or whatever so you can do it and then put double quotes and parentheses all right so this is how it is uh, evaluated right now so it is given us a date space uh, um, time so that's fine with me that's what we wanted okay so what we have now we have folder you know and we have a uh, date time so next step is go back to the file uh, configuration properties expressions all right so connection string is going to be built here by using those variables so we are going to use a folder path all right plus we, d we didn't pro have a variable for the f file name i recommend it to use it but here we don't have it i'm going to just use a hardcore value so i'm going to say tab customer and say underscore and plus okay so uh, i'm going to evaluate the expressions it evaluated correctly now i'm going to add that one to the date time okay so see uh, we use those variables and uh, we are constructing or we are building our connection string for this one so at the end whatever the extension you want to use it you can i'm going to use dot txt okay all right so what is going to happen on each of the execution our connection string will be built by using these variables and especially see uh, the date time variable is getting the value from the get date and the time will change so every time it will be creating a new connection string um, to the second levels like minutes and uh, hours minutes and seconds okay so now hit okay okay so let's run our SSIS package again and see if the file is generated with the date time and it is tab delimited yes the one file is generated with the it is the tab delimited file and it is generated with the date and time okay so let's uh, read on our SSIS package again and make sure it is working perfectly fine it is creating a new file every time we run the package so okay so if you are running again it created a new file with the same records because we don't have a new data in the table so it is going to create with the same but every time it is going to generate a file it will generate a new file with the new um, time you know and if it is running the same day uh, with the same date so uh, that's how you can generate or create uh, your tab delimited files from SQL Server table with the date timestamp in them. And I hope this video will help. Uh, thanks very much, very much for watching this video.